Avocado is a superfood that has captured our hearts and our plates for generations. But be careful, even good things can be a source of hassle if consumed incorrectly. In this video, we reveal six common mistakes many make with avocado, and how to avoid them for the perfect culinary and nutritional experience. Don't forget to like the video to support our channel. Also stay tuned until the end for these essential tips, and share your avocado stories in the comments below. Which of these mistakes do you often make? Tell us. We begin. Mistake number one, not taking advantage of the benefits of the core. What if I told you that you throw away a treasure every time you prepare an avocado? Yes, I'm talking about the core. Many people don't know that this tough little heart packs powerful antioxidants and a healthy dose of fiber. Indeed, the avocado pit is very rich in flavanols, antioxidants which help fight against cell aging and have anti-cancer and anti-inflammatory properties. In addition, it contains amino acids that help reduce cholesterol and triglyceride levels in the blood. So why not enjoy it? Are you wondering how to use this famous kernel? It's simple and fun. To start, you can blend it into a smoothie. Yes, you heard correctly. Cut it into small pieces, throw it in your blender with your favorite fruits, and you have a smoothie that is full of benefits. But that's not all. You can also dry the kernel, grind it, and obtain a magic powder to sprinkle on your dishes. Just imagine. A pinch of avocado pit powder on your salad in your soup, or even in your bowl of porridge in the morning. Not only is it original, but it's also an incredible health boost that you miss every time you throw away your avocado pit. Mistake number two, overconsumption of avocado. What happens if you give in to temptation? First of all, you should know that this fruit is a real nutritional treasure. It's full of vitamins like K, C, E, and some of the B complex, minerals, Think potassium, your muscle friend, and those famous monounsaturated fatty acids that do wonders for your heart. But avocado is also quite high in calories. An average serving can contain around 250 calories, and those calories can add up faster than you think. Imagine this. You prepare a nice bowl of crushed avocado for your morning toast. You add some to your lunch salad, and bam, you finish with guacamole for an aperitif. It's delicious. But without you realizing it, you may have consumed the caloric equivalent of two large meals. And then you say to yourself, but I eat healthy, why can't I fit into my favorite genes anymore? This is where the problem lies. Overconsumption of avocado can, over time, contribute to insidious weight gain. So how can you enjoy avocado without going overboard? It's simple, moderation and variety. Incorporate avocado into your diet, but don't forget to vary the pleasures with other fruits and vegetables. This way... You get all the nutrients your body needs without unnecessary calories. Mistake number three, ignoring the origin of the avocado, the importance of choice. Not all avocados are equal. Some may come from far, far away, and during their trip they may pick up some not-so-nice souvenirs, like pesticide residue or other chemicals. Not cool, huh? So how do we make sure our avocado is as clean as possible? The first step is to take a look at its label. If you see organic, that's already a good sign. Organic avocados are grown without synthetic pesticides or chemical fertilizers, which is better for you and the planet. But that's not all. Even among organic avocados, there are differences. Some come from small farms where they are pampered like babies, while others come from large farms where they are just one number among thousands. So if you have the option, choose avocados from local sources or ethical farms. Not only will you be making a healthy choice for you, but you will also be supporting more sustainable agricultural practices. And then there's the taste. An avocado that has been raised in good conditions is like a quality wine. You can almost taste the love and care that has gone into growing it, and you can taste that. So the next time you find yourself in the avocado aisle, take a moment to think about where they come from. A small choice can make a big difference for your health and for our beautiful planet. Mistake number four, combining with certain processed foods. You know, those little guilty pleasures that we all love, like chips or ready-made sauces. We say to ourselves, a little green with something not very healthy, it balances out, right? Well, not really. Avocado is a nutrient bomb, but when you combine it with foods high in sugar, salt, or bad fats, you somewhat cancel out the superfood effect. It's like putting a superhero cape on a villain. That doesn't turn him into a savior. So what to do? It's simple. We're looking for healthier traveling companions for our avocado. For example, instead of drowning it in a sea of industrial mayonnaise, 
why not pair it with crunchy fresh vegetables? Or instead of serving it on a slice of ultra-processed white bread, opt for good whole grain bread or whole grain cereals. This way, you benefit from fiber, vitamins and good fats without unwanted guests. By making these choices, you take care of your body while enjoying yourself. And that's the real magic of avocado. It can transform the simplest of meals into a royal feast for your cells. So the next time you prepare a snack, think of avocado as your health ally and choose accompaniments that live up to its nobility. Your turn. Mistake number five, ignoring allergies and intolerances. For some, the avocado is a bit like the villain in a superhero movie. It looks nice, but it can cause problems. So how do you know if you're one of the few for whom the avocado doesn't only want the best? It's simple. Your body will speak to you. Maybe right after eating avocado you feel weird. You have itching, stomach aches, or even scarier things like difficulty breathing. If so, maybe your body is saying no thanks to the avocado. If you suspect an allergy or intolerance, the first thing to do is to stop using avocados. I know it's hard, but it's for your own good. Then go see a doctor or an allergist. They can run tests on you to confirm whether or not avocado is your kryptonite. What if it's confirmed? Do not panic. There are plenty of other superfoods that can take the place of avocado on your plate. And the most important thing is to stay healthy. So listen to your body and take care of yourself. Mistake number six, consuming unripe or overripe avocados. An underripe avocado is guaranteed to be a disappointment. You end up with something tough, fibrous, and as flavorful as a tennis ball. What about an overripe avocado? It is the opposite excess. It can become soft, brownish, and frankly not appetizing. So how do you find the happy medium? It's simple, you trust your senses. Take the avocado in your hand. It should be slightly flexible under the pressure of your fingers, but not too much. If it feels like you're squeezing a sponge, put it down, it's too ripe. And the smell? A ripe avocado gives off a subtle, pleasant scent, not a strong or fermented smell. But wait, there's something even cooler. The stalk trick. You know, the little bit where the avocado was tied to the tree. If you can remove it easily and it's green underneath, bingo, you've got a winner. If it's brown, the avocado is overripe, and if you can't remove it at all, it still needs time. By choosing avocados at the right ripeness, you benefit not only from their creamy texture and delicious taste, but also from all their nutritional benefits. Fiber, good fats, vitamins, everything is there ready to make your taste buds dance and boost your health. And there you have it. Now you are armed to never make a mistake again. The perfect avocados are yours, the ones that make every bite unforgettable. Thanks for watching the video. If you found it useful, give me a thumbs up, subscribe and share your experience with me in the comments. See you soon.